Hiya folks, in this video I want to show you how I bring back old rusted nuts and bolts to use in my restorations or renovations and also protect them against rust for future. So let's have a look and see what I do. Right, well I've got a collection of old nuts and rusted bolts here as you can see, these are just general old ones I've had kicking about and all I'm going to do with these is throw them in my rock tumbler this is my rock tumbler here. Now I have up until now been using it dry, but uh, you can actually use these with a liquid inside them. So I've got this old bottle of uh, MC51, very much like Evaporust really. And I'm just gonna splosh a drop of that in there. And it's old stuff, you can see by the color of this, it's been well used this, so it's not, it's not a new brand new bottle or anything. So I'm just gonna put that in there, I'll let that sink in there. And I'm gonna get me a handful of nuts and bolts and literally just, just throw them in there. I'll start it up with the lid off first of all, just so you can see what's happening. So, let's just turn it off. That liquid in there, oh, that MC51, will help with the rust removal because it is a, a rust elimination product, but it also helps lubricate and keeps the dust down as well. So, I'll stick that on. There's the uh, lid there, that just goes on there like that. Put these little washers on the top. And then on with the uh, little securing nut. And I'll probably leave that working its magic in there for a couple of hours maybe. Make sure it's well screwed down. Just switch it on. And it's pretty quiet as you can see. And uh, it doesn't sort of vibrate around the table or anything like that as well. So I can leave that for a couple of hours now to let it do its stuff. And we'll come back, and if it's not done when we've uh, a couple of hours time, I'll just do it for a bit longer. But you can leave these things on overnight and they come out lovely. So we'll leave that on and uh, we'll see how that goes. So there's many ways to stop your nuts and bolts rusting like that. What I can do is also wire wheel them on the wire wheel. I've got a pillar drill and I've also got brushes that go into a drill, like your, your normally battery drill, for example. The rotary wire brushes, and I'll, I'll clean them up that way as well. But one of the problems you do get is that after you've done that, the parts when you install them again, or the bolts or nuts or whatever, they tend, do tend to rust again. So I'm gonna be treating them by using oil and heat, and that will give them a protective coating without the need of things like uh, chrome plating or zinc plating or anything like that. And it's an easy way to do it, and anyone can do this if they've got a bit of old engine oil. And the reason being, it's an old bike that I'm restoring at the moment, and as you can see, things like this swinging arm bolt and nuts that go through there and the kickstart levers and all stuff like this you don't really want to have to buy every single brand new nut for example things like the uh, pins that go through the foot pegs the uh, wheel carriers all stuff like that other screws engine screws and stuff like that all these other bolts and things stuff on the headstock for example you might want to reuse these but as i say to buy every single nut and bolt for something like this when you're restoring something like this or even a lawnmower it can take a lot of money and you can have trouble finding all these individual bolts. So doing what I'm gonna show you in this video should help you when it comes to restoring anything that you're doing. So while we're waiting for them parts to um, do their magic, I've got a couple of stickers here. Two coming from uh, Scotty Daniel there from his uh, YouTube channel. That's his old sticker, that's his new one, I'll put them up. I've got to remember the number on the back of there as well. Mine's number seven, by the way. Apparently he's running the competition. So I'll give Gary his ones, by the way, Scotty. And we've also got Fix It or Strip It, another YouTube channel. Neil does powder coating as well, just like I do. He started doing it and he's got some good content on his powder coating from a beginner's perspective. So if you're thinking about doing it, check these two channels out. Let's just put them up on the old wall of fame. Neil, you can go next to Ken's small engines. There you go. And Scotty, I'll put your sticker up here as well. Your new one. You can go under Jeff and Jenny's Classic Restorations and also next to uh, Neil's sticker as well. There you go, see I've got a couple of these pe peeling off here, look, mix mowers and mend it man. Perhaps they don't want to be on my wall of fame, who knows. Anyway, he also sent me a key ring, Scotty Daniel Dale did win that in one of his competitions. Just wanted to show you these as well folks, as you well know, we're now printing these A4 metallic signs, myself and Sharon. I've done a couple here. Handy for having it in the background of your videos if you are a YouTuber like we are and uh, just advertises your name of your channel and stuff like that. And also we do sort of the old vintage ones as well. We've got one there. I've also put a few up there. There's our Butler's Empire one up there. I've got a Castrol GTX and an old Vespa one as well. 
Nice to have in your workshop all your man caves, stuff to go up on your wall. So um, if that might be something you're interested in, we're doing one shipped to you for £8.50 in the UK. And you can buy five for £30. That will be shipped as well. That's including shipping costs. So that's five of these different vintage ones you can get. With, I've got a selection of different vintage ones which you can choose from. Um, and also, as I say, one with your own logo on. Uh, I'll do one for £8.50. That's shipped as well within that price. So good drill. Five is a good deal. If you get five different vintage ones for £30, that will be shipped as well. Just something you might be interested in. If so, just drop me a comment at retrorestoreuk at gmail.com. There's the email address, and I'll get back to you and show you how you can pay and what ones you can choose. I'll send you a picture of the ones we've got at the moment. I'm still not well at the moment, folks. It's cold out here, so I'm going to go inside, let that do its magic, and we'll come back and see you in a minute. Right, this has been on for probably about six hours now, so let's have a little look and see what they look like. All right, let's put that lid over there. Right, it's a bit messy in there, I know, but... Uh, Let's dig them out. Right, well, you're not going to be able to see much until I pull them all out, but already you can see how nice and shiny they are. Let's just get one under the uh, bit of tissue here, look. Wow, look at that. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's already, look how shiny that is and clean. That looks like a new blinking bolt, doesn't it? Right, well, let me get them all out few more in here yep this one I remember was very rusty as well but uh, I'm gonna get them all out and then we'll I'll come back to you once I pull them all out of here folks right so I've got them all in a, a jar there now I'm just gonna put some uh, just some old stale petrol just to give them a little bit of a rinse off just to see what they do actually look like once we pull them out and lay them out on the worktop here so, as I say, I haven't done anything to these, literally, apart from just throw them into the rock tumbler. And uh, I'm just going to lay them all out now. But they're looking, as I say, pretty good. So I'll just give them all just a bit of a wipe off. Let's just have a closer look at these, because... Uh, it's actually amazing that that rock tumbler and a little bit of fluid in there. You could probably put white spirit in there. I know I put turn that MC51, but um, I think you'll get the great result with just white spirit. So that's what I'll be putting on in future. But as you can probably see there, can you see that? Look, that looks like a brand new bolt. Look, absolutely superb. And uh, this bracket was full of rust. It's still got a couple of little bits on it, but I'm not, again, I'm not too worried about that. I could also buff them up if I wanted to, but can you see how the rock tumblers basically done the job on these bolts? Definitely the bolts anyway, because the bolts are the things that uh, you'd have to spend a lot of money on if you were restoring something. And can you see that? Look, how tidy them bolts are now, look. They're like new bolts. This one, if I remember rightly, was full of corrosion. You probably saw this one. And uh, again, the rock tumbler's done its job. There you go, look at that, look. How about that? That's like a new bolt now, look, brand new bolt. And don't forget, these bolts aren't sort of cheap, you know. When you're buying these speciality bolts from cars, motorcycles, or any piece of equipment, really, you're not, you're not, they're not cheap. Could be a couple of quid, that. I mean, this one has got pitting in it still. But... Again, once that's in and once it's been treated on the next part of what we're going to do, I think you'll find it'll be mostly serviceable. And even down to these sort of things, look, this is the uh, Allen key bolt, which is, uh, again, they was mostly covered in rust, look. Superb. Right, so that's how you can clean your bolts. Now you want to preserve them and protect them without the need of mechanical plating or whatever like that. So let's see what I do to do that. Right, so here's our nice and clean bolts now and little bits of, uh, and little screws. So I've got in front of me some brand new clean engine oil and I've got here some old dirty black engine oil. So what I'm gonna do is just get a pair of grips like that. 
I'm going to get my blowtorch and we're basically going to heat these up and treat them by dipping them in the uh, either the, the fresh engine oil or the black engine oil and that should give them a nice protective coating. So what we do first, let's start off with, um, well if we go for two that are the same, let's have a look here, I've got two bolts here, put them to one side, two identical bolts there and what I'm going to do, I'm going to dip one in one and one in the other after they've been heated up and let's see how that actually looks. So we'll take this one first and we'll just heat this one up. Right, that's glowing red hot, straight into the cold oil. So swish it around in there. I'll just lay that down to the side for the minute. And then we'll do the same to the other one. Put that over there. Right, that's cherry red. Bring in the used engine oil and straight in there. Okay, should have cooled down by now. So what I'll do, I'll just give these a wipe off and then we'll uh, examine them. Right, so the first one is this one. Let's just give that a wipe off. There we go. So that's got a, a, a black sheen on it, as you can see. This one was dipped in dirty engine oil. So let's wipe this one off. I just wanted to see if there's any difference between the two. There you go. So that was done in dirty engine oil. That was done in brand new clean engine oil and they both look identical to be honest with you so um, either way they're going to get protected but you'll get a dark finish like that as I say that's it even in the I thought the clean engine oil would leave it clear actually but um, that doesn't appear to be the case so there you go and these now should be protected from rust so as far as the other ones are concerned as you can see the color difference whether or not these would still rust or what I'm not too sure they may have their corrosion plate on them like their zinc plate on them or whatever from the original factory but sometimes old bolts tend to have uh, the coating rubbed off of them so uh, if that was the case then obviously you've got this as an option or you can just keep them well oiled you could paint them I don't really like painting bolts for example or you could actually set up a plating setup and get them uh, like zinc plated or something like that so there you go that's what we found out with our plating it doesn't appear to make much difference if you're using clean or dirty engine oil. Either one will apparently give pretty much the same result there, as you can see. But what you should have are bolts that no longer rust anyway. So there we go. I have done a little bit of it in the past, but uh, I've never done the comparison between clean engine oil and dirty engine oil. I've heard people say that if you use clean engine oil, it comes out clear the part, but um, obviously that's not the case. But uh, as I say, the main thing is just cleaning the bolts up the rock tumbler really does a good job there, as you can see there, look, that was an old crusty, rusty bolt in there. One of the worst rusted ones out there, I think, was this one here. Let me show you. This one here was totally rusted out. And uh, as you can see, the, 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 the rust is all gone there, and it's, it's back to a factory finish, I would say. Just wants the threads cleaning up, so I could do that in the wire wheel. But uh, yeah, there you go. A handy piece of kit, the rock tumbler. And if you're doing restorations like what I'm doing on motorbikes and stuff, rather than have to go up to the, the, the drill and sort of clean them individually one by one, just throw them in a rock tumbler with some liquid in it as well for probably about six hours. I left them in there for six hours. And uh, these are new looking bolts again now. Hope that was of some help to you. Don't forget to check out my other videos and also hit the subscribe button if you like my videos. And I'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now. <laughs>